beautiful day here walking with the baby. Probably can't see him. He's down in here. Big Will. <gasps> Hopefully he will go to sleep. Maybe. Nap time in the stroller. It's uh, 80 degrees or so here in uh, the south in April. That's fun. It's hot. It's a little sweaty. But it's fun. Um, and we're going uphill now. Um, so I talked to my friend Ridge yesterday and he had looked at the last vlog and he gave me some advice for some content. So I super appreciate that. Um, and he gave me lots of ideas so I won't explain them all now because I'll probably use them in vlogs. Um, but one of the things he suggested was talking about um, my life as a teacher and maybe funny things or struggles, especially in a small town, teaching in a small conservative town. Um, so I was thinking about that and there's a lot of positive things but also a lot of <laughs> car. Uh, but uh, I was listening to, or you know, trying to get the baby to sleep here, and I was playing music for him. And we were listening to the old, like, 1990 something Rod Stewart song, Forever Young. And I don't know if that's supposed to probably be like a parent talking to a child if you read the lyrics, or maybe a teacher talking to their students. Um, and it's talking about, you know, may the Lord bless you and keep you, and it's talking about. Um, you know that hopefully you'll be gracious and you'll be brave um, and just that you would be a good person and, and find yourself and and enjoy life um, and that person the, the speaker um, will be proud of you and I mean my baby's only seven and a half months I mean like hadn't done a whole lot yet I mean he got a new tooth today tooth number two um so maybe we can eat cheerios soon huh is that a thing um but yeah i'll talk more about baby goals hopes for his future that kind of stuff in another vlog but i was just thinking about being a teacher and all my students like the things that i wish for them is that they would be happy they would be content with who they are that they would be compassionate and kind to other people that they would hate ignorance and love learning and have an openness for other cultures or religions or languages. Um, I used to teach world literature and that's not really how the curriculum is organized anymore, but I would teach a unit from like different continents. Like here's some African literature and here's some literature from South America, you know, do it kind of like that. And so I think that gave the kids a broader look at culture which is something we don't really have here in this county um, I mean I feel like there's a lot of fear and misconceptions about other cultures even other religions like my kids are studying the Holocaust right now and we're reading a Holocaust memoir um, which Elie Wiesel you should read it it's called night um, it's amazing he helped um, found and organize the United States Holocaust Memorial Museum in DC and he was a Nobel Peace Prize winner and just amazing um, another car. I've realized I look like a weirdo out here in this small town middle of nowhere. I'm just like talking to my phone. <laughs> but yeah. Um, also my husband got me this stroller. And it doesn't have a pivoting front wheel. And so life is a little hard. But anyway. Um, so yeah. So my kids are reading this Holocaust memoir and I realized that they know like nothing about Judaism. Like they, they don't even know the stuff that would like relate to Christianity. <laughs> Car. Um, they don't even know what Passover is. Like, they just, they don't understand. Um, and like, I don't know if you know where this is. I'm going to turn the thing. If you can kind of see, we've got uh, this thing, Yellow Deli, around us here. People don't know what that is. That stresses them out. I think it's a cult. I can't just accept it as Oh, like nice people who worship God differently than you do. Yeah, that's that's too weird. And I'm not trying to be like hating on people that choose not to come and eat here. Like I'm not saying that. I'm just saying 
maybe like come and ask a question. Like if, if you've heard some rumor or something, maybe like come and ask somebody. Like ask them how they worship. Ask them why they wear the clothes they wear or why the men wear their hair the way they do or ask them why they're gonna be closed on Passover and hey, what is Passover? Um, you know, ask a question. That's one of the things that I hope my students will learn. Like if you don't know something, ask a question. Um, it's dumb to not ask a question and stay ignorant. But, uh-oh, I've been barricaded in. But being ignorant is not a bad thing. Being dumb is kind of a bad thing. Um, because that means, at least to me, being dumb means you choose not to be educated. You know, if you're ignorant, if there's just something you didn't know, well, maybe you'll never learn it because you've never been exposed to it, right? That's not your fault. Um, but how about like, take the chance and expose yourself to some stuff. Um, you know, car. Um, figure some stuff out. See something new. Maybe like, come and, you know, take a quilting class, take a pottery class. Um, you know, learn how to play an instrument. Hey, Junior Appalachian Music Jam, try it out. It's pretty nifty. Um, different that'll be a different vlog later too because I want my baby to learn to play banjo he loves banjo he's crying in the car the other day and then Bill Monroe came on and they stopped crying <laughs> oh, he's such a little country boy I love it um but yeah so that's maybe that's the theme of my blog today to answer Ridge's queries for content is just you know there are a lot of things that I hope for my students and I just hope for the world in general that people would be kind to each other they would be open and they would learn. Um, I would hope that my students know that I love them and they're in a caring environment and I'm never gonna diss them just because they are who they are. Um, does, that, does that sound right? They are who they are. That doesn't sound right. Uh, I'm an English teacher, but, um, but yeah, long story short, there's a lot more to teaching than just the content that you teach. You know, I mean, I, I do want them to learn literature. I want them to know what situational irony is. Um, I want them to know like correct subject verb agreement. I want them to use homonyms correctly. I want them to learn to spell there. <sighs> yeah, but more than that, I just want them to know that there's so much more out there in the world and they can experience it and enjoy it. Um, if they will be open and they will be kind to other people. So, life lesson of the day. Um, and also, go listen to that song, because Rod Stewart may have had a mullet, okay? Yeah, he had a mullet. But, like, it's a really good song. Forever Young, not the Bob Dylan one. Rod Stewart. Look it up. Trust me. You'll like it. It's on iTunes. Yeah. Okay. Goodbye.